some other sleep aids that are, I'm going to put this in quotes, natural, that are natural for you, are melatonin, and it's a hormone. It uh, helps control your natural sleep-wake cycle. It's best associated with people who do shift work to help maintain their circadian rhythms or people who have had jet lag, but other people are using it now, too, to help them sleep. It is effective, and it's sort of natural, but everything was once based on a natural substance, and I have never gone out to my garden of herbs and picked a pill off of one of those. So something that is in pill form isn't so much natural. It's based on something natural. It's a nod to something natural. But natural things look like natural things. They look like plants. They look like dried herbs. Pills, not so much. It also interacts with things. So blood thinning medications like warfarin, sometimes it's called Coumadin, immunosuppressants, diabetes medications, birth control pills. That's a big one. People might want to think about that. Sleepy time tea. That's an herbal. Regular sleepy time tea has chamomile in it. It's an herb. It's nice. Sleepy time extra. It has, right now I think it has a big extra. They keep changing their labeling. And right underneath the big extra is valerian root. Like little tiny. It says valerian root. Well, valerian is a central nervous system depressant. It's a plant, but... We're doing an extract here, so it's in a pill form. It's a muscle relaxant, and it may affect your heart vessels and your heart rhythm. If you have a heart condition, I would think really long and hard before taking this. Also, if you have a liver problem or you drink a lot of alcohol, I would be really careful, and there's no judgment here about the alcohol, but just acknowledge that that's what you're doing and try not to take this medication. Liver toxicity has been associated with the use of valerian in herbal remedies. Now, it's usually multi herbal remedies where there's a ton of herbs in this one pill, but there are a couple um, case reports out there of people trying to commit suicide using valerian and almost getting there. There's a little website here that we have up about the FDA and dietary supplements that I think is excellent. The most important thing to do, and again, this is close to my heart because I have so much trouble sleeping, is to find out why you can't sleep and you have to practice good sleep hygiene. Basically, you have to figure out what the contributing factors are, what helps you relax, and do that as much as you can without taking sleep medications. Now, I'm going to confess to you right now, I take sleep medications, but I am in the process of weaning off right now because it's been a few months, and that's too long. You can check your reflux to make sure that you're not sitting there and having just that terrible gassy burning feeling. That can make you feel terrible and you can't sleep. Restless leg, I want to take a minute and say this. If you are taking any medications that are for depression that are being advertised on TV right now to help with another depression med, these are antipsychotics. If you suddenly aren't able to sleep because you're moving, this may be the sign of a very serious side effect that can be permanent. So I want you to go to your doctor and have them assess. They have specific assessments they can do. Have them assess if that's what's going on with you or if it's just restless leg. If you are exercising too late, I can do certain exercise at night. I can walk, I can do an aerobics, but if I'm lifting weights at night, forget about it. I'm up for an extra two, three hours. If you have breathing issues or sleep apnea, if you're getting side effects from other medications, those over-the-counter migraine medications that might have caffeine in them are a big deal. If you're drinking caffeinated beverages, if you're drinking sport or vitamin drinks that have guarana in them, that's a stimulant. It basically is metabolized to caffeine. If you're having something that has dandelion root extract, oh, this one got me. It's a diuretic. It sounds fabulous. It's dandelion root extract. How bad could that be? Well, it made me have to go to the bathroom all night, and I couldn't sleep, I'll tell you that. So, And it can dehydrate you and cause you to have drops in blood pressure, so be careful there. Depression, um, depression in general, some depression medications, as a matter of fact, anxiety, taking long naps during the day, if you're traveling a lot, if you're after a certain age, and there's no specific age, it's different for every person, and you're drinking as much caffeine as you used to when you are younger, that might be a problem because people don't metabolize caffeine the same as they age. So you might be able to drink five when you're 20 cups of coffee, and now it's two. And if your partner is maybe causing you some trouble with snoring or schedules, that's something to consider with sleep hygiene as well. 
As I mentioned, herbal remedies and interactions are something I want to talk about, but it's getting very long, and we want to make sure that you can ask us questions. So we are going to do another presentation on all of that information. And herbals, oh my goodness, herbals are so important to talk about.